Now, the practical implications of states teaching digital technologies somewhat differently are that you may have students transferring into your school that have different experiences in digital technologies. So you can't make assumptions that they will have a certain set of skills. Likewise, the primary schools that feed into your classes may have different approaches and the teachers within those schools may have different capacity to develop students' capabilities around digital technologies. Now, in an ideal world, they would all be fully capable and have all the same resources and um, enthusiasm towards teaching digital technologies. But in practice, that's not the case. And many teachers of digital technologies work closely with their primary school feeders, we call them feeder schools, to build upon the capacity of the teachers there, sometimes offering special programs for the students, um, different clubs and activities or immersion days in the high school to help build up their, their school base. So in these activities, you're exploring some of those implications and also looking at what data exists around schools so that when you go out on the practicum, you can have some understanding of the sort of school you're going to be going into and where they may be at in their digital technologies journey.